Hi, I'm Kathy Kiley, president of the Ag Club, and thank you for joining us again on the Big Orange Couch. Now, the astute ones of you are looking at the couch and saying, but that's a red couch, and that's because we've taken the show on the road this month and we're up at Arnold. We're here to talk about mobile technology. There's so much mobile technology happen happening in Massachusetts that we have declared this Mass Mobile Month. And we are here on the big orange couch, or albeit the red couch, with Wade Rausch. Welcome, Wade. Thanks, Kathy. It's great to be here. So, Wade, you are the chief correspondent for Xconomy. Tell us a little bit about Xconomy and exactly what it is that you do. Sure. Well, Xconomy is a network of technology news websites. We're based here in the Boston area. We got our start here in 2007 and we cover high-tech innovation and entrepreneurship. So we're really fascinated by the whole process of getting an idea, building a company around it, getting the idea funded. And we have anywhere from three to five or six news articles every day on that process. And uh, in the last couple of years, we've also expanded into two more cities that are important sort of innovation clusters. We're now doing business in Seattle and San Diego. So Massachusetts seems to have become such a hotbed for mobile technology. Why do you think that is? Well, I think we wouldn't have picked Boston as sort of the uh, launch city for Xconomy if we weren't convinced that this was definitely one of the major, if not the major, alternative location in the U.S. For, for innovation and company building. So, you know, if you looked outside of Silicon Valley, where would be the other place where you would really want to start looking first? And it's, it's Boston. Tell us a little bit about the events that are happening and, and um, what people can expect. A month or so ago, we were working on our own mobile event, which is going to be on March 9th. It's called Mobile Madness. And um, we started to s recognize that there were a lot of other organizations around town uh, planning their own events around mobile technology for the same week um, or the same month. And, uh, and when we looked a little farther, we discovered that if you, you know, sort of start looking in February and go all the way into early April, there's 15 events going on altogether. So we thought somebody needs to basically just make a unilateral declaration that there's something special going on here. Let's draw some attention to it. Let's come up with a name for it, um, and, and let's try and collectively draw some attention to all of the amazing events that are going on, which are really just a sign of the, you know, the enormous activity in the mobile sector around Boston. So um, Xconomy and 22 other organizations now have gotten together, and we declared that March would be Mass Mobile Month, and we created a website and came up with a logo and did all the standard things to get social media awareness going about the events. And so obviously we're hoping that that will draw traffic to all of the events uh, in the area, including our own event. So I'm gonna ask the obvious question, it's Mass Mobile Month. Do you have an app for this? In fact, we do have an iPhone app. We have been working with a company here in, in Cambridge called Swift Mobile. They voluntarily, um, they saw what we were doing and they said, we've got this technology that would be just perfect to adapt uh, into an iPhone app. Tell me who you think would benefit from coming to these events. Obviously they're going to bring out the community itself, so which is a big community. There yeah. are uh, probably close to 200 mobile companies in the, Bo in the Boston area mm -hmm. and we're expecting that a lot of them will be sending you know developers and executives and managers out to the events. Um, but in addition to that, there's obviously a ton of interest um, on the venture scene and, and where mobile technology is going and how consumers are using it and how businesses are starting to use it to make their own processes more effective. So we're going to be getting a lot of people from the investing side at these events and a lot of general technology enthusiasts. So it's amazing to me how many events there are. Just fill us in on some of the real highlights. MITx, the MITx, the Massachusetts sure. Innovation Technology yep. Exchange, is sponsoring a um, an across the pond showcase. I mentioned that there were some mm -hmm. British companies coming, and they're one of the organizations that are going to be hosting a showcase of those British companies. Um, later in the month, um, there's a, a BlackBerry Developers Group meeting for the first time. There is um, now a kind of critical mass of people in the Boston area who develop for the BlackBerry platform, and they're having a meeting uh, for the very first time ever. There is a big uh, virtual reality conference out in Waltham. IEEE is holding their annual virtual reality and augmented reality conference in this area. And augmented reality is a natural on mobile platforms. Mm -hmm. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, 
And then uh, sort of the last event in the sequence is uh, Mobile Camp Boston on April 3rd. And that's a big event for uh, programmers and developers and, and all the geeks who are, you know, like myself, <laughs> who are really into this technology. So That's great. Yeah. There's so much to learn in mobile media that I am not surprised that there is a month dedicated to it, mass mobile media. And we at the Ad Club always were proponents of get out, it, learn it, live it, be there to experience it. And um, I think there's so many Ad Club members who would benefit from this event. So I thank you so much for um, joining us on the Big Orange Couch. My pleasure. Thank you, Kathy. And we will see you next time on the Big Orange Couch. And next time it will actually be orange.